Hello my soccer universe. First legs of the Europa League semi-finals are in the books and mm, if you are a Serie A fan like I am, yes I'm wearing a Leverkusen jersey but I'm a Serie A fan, then I think this was a little bit sobering overall I have to say. Uh, you know, there's still a good chance that Atalanta will make it, however I think Roma is more or less already out of it being comprehensively outplayed. Let's say it as it was yeah on the other side i honestly think um the hope that roma can do something again against leverkusen like i did last year was probably a little bit of a fool's hope let's be honest because uh the leverkusen side from last year is a completely different animal than the leverkusen side from this year and i think that roma are a better team than they were under Mourinho, although making it to the final last year uh, but you know the way that they played maybe this is a way to win you um, your European Cups but yeah it was not pretty not pretty I will talk about that game the other one I think Atalanta still in good chances but a little bit escaped had some luck there too I also have to say but you, you usually those mid chances might come back to bite O M. Okay, let's start and we'll start in Rome. The atmosphere, of course, great. I really liked the TIFO that they pulled up in the Curva. And I think the Olympic Stadium in Rome is probably one of the very, very few uh, stadiums with a run that still kind of uh, gives you the big game vibes. Because uh, the atmosphere is there, which in many uh, state stadiums with a running track is missing. I would say the Olympico and the uh, Maradona Stadium, those are probably the ones that I would mention here, and there are not many else. In any case, there the hopes were still high, but then Leverkusen quickly showed everyone uh, what a great team they are. Xabi Alonso surprised De Rossi, and didn't you like the embrace? I mean, I think De Rossi is such a breath of fresh air, of, you know, cordiality, while being you know, a great guy as well. Uh, I, I really love him. However, he was surprised that they played uh, Florian Wirtz in a false nine. There was no... Uh, Boniface in there and that really 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 did not work well for Roma yes Roma had the first first chance it was actually a brilliant assist from uh, Paredes uh, you know with the back foot uh, towards Lukaku who then heads it onto the top of the crossbar but that was only a small stop it was all Leverkusen in the in the first half the only thing is that the goal they got a few many minutes later I mean they had uh, chances through for who 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 with the outside of post and I mean that hit Lukaku he hit and cross but really opened up the game it went up and down but that's exactly the game that Leverkusen wanted to play and that Roma would like to play but they're not there yet um, and you know the Frimpong uh, always cut through uh, the um, Roma defense, and then uh, they get the goal. However, it was a really bad Carso back pass, and Grimaldo intercepts it. Uh, I think it was Cristante caught out in the middle of Mancini, uh, not knowing what to do, and then he finds Wirtz who who sends it home in the 28th minute. Um, could have been more. Could have been more in the first half for sure. Yes, Pellegrini had a shot wide, but it was all level Leverkusen. Second half, Roma got back more into the game uh, and had a, a few chances. I mean, nothing really big, but they were better in the game. Uh, however, if you don't uh, take your chances, you're gonna get punished. And how the how the game was a really nice move that you thought had fizzled out and then under in the 73rd minute. Brilliantly, absolutely brilliant shot. Watch that one uh, in slow-mo. How he hits it and it hits it high, goes over Golis Villa, back into the net. This is one that is really, really hard to save, uh, I would uh, I, I would say. And at first it looks like this might have been a deflection. No, this was exactly taking this this way. And from a player like Andre, who is a little bit more Gattuso than, you know, uh, a pillow, that was a really, really great strike. That was a really sweet hit there. Uh, However, then Roma actually had the chances. As Moon had one, came came on uh, almost almost immediately had the chance. I think As Moon also played for Leverkusen, so that was interesting. And then later on, Tammy Abraham misses a wide open net. I mean, it was a hard header, but he misses a wide open net. And yeah, that probably will come back and bite Roma, who are now definitely definitely outside. Going to Leverkusen with a two goal deficit from the home leg uh, does not bode well. Leverkusen most likely move on to the final. 
in the other match, it's very much open. Uh, we gotta also say, 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 say that. I mean, I always would have given Atalanta the advantage in that one. Uh, they kind of uh, confirmed that in the 11th minute when Kopmans plays it over the Skamaka, uh, who with a very dry shot makes it 1-0. And at that moment, I thought, okay, Atalanta is really showing who's the boss here. But no, it was actually OM. Again, another stadium. I don't need to say that the Velodrome has probably the best atmosphere in France uh, or one of the best atmospheres. It's, it's a hot bed. Uh, but, you know, it can swing either direction very quick, quickly as well. So uh, while it can be absolutely great, it can also be uh, both for away, fan, uh, away teams, but also for the home, home home team, a really hostile atmosphere very quickly as well. Also has to be said. Um, I think one break in the Atalanta game came early when former OM player Cole Lassenach had to come off when uh, he saved uh, actually a chance. Uh, I think he pulled the hamstring or, or whatever he had, had to come pass, 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 which came out. That kind of disorganized uh, Atalanta a little bit, at least for first. And then Kodokbe plays Mbemba, who takes another brilliant shot. This was the other brilliant goal, yeah, yes, to make it 1-1. One, one. And then Marseille were on top. Aubameyang had a pretty good chance that normally he would convert. Uh, and I think uh, going in with a 2-1 lead at halftime would not have been undeserved. Second half was very nervy. Very nervy going back and forth. Um, also has to be said, OM had the better chance and Daya hit while falling, hit like exactly the corner of um, uh, the goal outside, but still uh, there, there they were like the Musso made the mistake that Atalanta could clear. Yes, Atalanta also had a Lukman chance where he kind of rolls through the defense, but uh, the finish was not good enough. But um, Atalanta brought the 1-1 one, one home, let's put it this way, in the end, uh, especially in the last few minutes, but I cannot help but say that it feels a little bit like OM will rule their missed chances here. I think Atalanta were lucky to get out uh, to their draw, but they're still not the favorites to move on because with a home leg, and I think Atalanta are overall the better team, however OM really proved everybody wrong who thought, yeah, you know, they're a little bit more, uh, they're not such a great team. Well, uh, they are a great team because the teams they have eliminated on the path here, it's nothing to sneeze at as well. So return legs will be played next week. I think it's all about Atalanta OM, let's be honest, because that's the one um, that will go. I honestly, when, when I think about the uh, final, just from a fan point of view, OM against uh, Roma would have been an absolutely great final because those are two rather huge fan bases. Now, if it's really the Leverkusen against Atalanta final, uh, Leverkusen find a new a whole new set of friends, but they will not bring as many friends and as will Atalanta um, are also a, a little bit of a small team. So it will be a small team final, which is a little, little bit ironic because just a month or two ago, UEFA said, oh, this final in Dublin, this could give us a real headache if, say, this is uh, Liverpool playing Rangers. Well. I think it's going to be a relatively easy, easy final, even if Roma and OM are coming. Those are just mega fan bases that will be very loud. Yeah, might cause some trouble as well. But both of them are out, outsiders now. It looks very much like the Atalanta against Leverkusen final. And Gasparini has, has already said uh, the Europa League, that's what they're eyeing on because they have already been a Coppa Italia final, which they have. I'm a little bit worried for Atalanta overall that they have now really up until the Europa League final, they have... Um, the Wednesday, Sunday ridden, or Wednesday, Saturday, uh, or Thursday, Sunday, because they uh, play on the return leg and they have the Coppa Italia final. Then, if they make it to, to the final, they have the final to play there as well. So, it will be really, really hard. And you want to actually fight for a top spot in the league as well, where you have the chance to overtake Roma. So, will be seen. Any case, let, let me know how you think the Europa League will be going. Give me a thumbs up. Enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. More things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!